Cameron the Gaming Gnome here, and we're going to play Runers. Uh, um, I haven't played this game before, but uh, I heard it has a cool magic mixing system, so I love that. So, uh, I don't really need to do it. Okay. Let's see here. Looks like there's a bunch of different classes. Well, obviously, I gotta be the Gnome. And, um, Rangers are cool. Okay, yeah, I have played this game before. I lied. Uh, um, I like Spark. So, we're gonna go with the Ranger and the Dusting of the Gnome. And, oh, a forest. I have not seen a forest on the first floor in a long, 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 long time. Anyway, what you do is you get random spells, and you basically just hit everything. I guess that could be every game ever made, except maybe Tetris. There's not a whole lot of grand strategy, you just, uh, hold left click, things die. WASD controls. You can use a controller, but I'm using mouse and keyboard. You don't have to worry about anything like, uh, MP. It's all, it's all on the cooldowns. Which, for the basic spells, is very, very, very short. You can get items from these boxes, so, uh... That's always good. Well, anyway, I got a rune. And it's always good to, uh, use your runes to make spells right away. Uh, what this dark rune does, it has a raging prefix. So, all, all dark runes by themselves will make the same spell, Corruption. But this one will be 5% better. Mixing spells is typically better than single spells, but it's always good to have two spells right at the start, because you can hold down left and right click at the same time for even more damage. Rats and mages, rats and mages, worms, worms, worms. Anyway, the gnome special ability is a random bonus or penalty to a random stat. Right now I have 30% bonus bullet size, which makes it a lot easier to hit enemies. Although, I don't typically aim in this game, I just like to blanket fire into the groups. So that's, which is why I like spells like Chaos Bolt better, because they just spray really rapidly. I also like to get the, uh, I think it's Mind Spike, I don't remember, uh, that reduces your cooldowns as you fire it. So even though it does less damage by itself, it speeds up whatever the other spells you are currently using there, which is, in my opinion, a very good ability. Well, this was extremely lucky, I just got a whole chunk of runes all at the same time, so Now's a good time to look at the uh, spell crafting system as soon as I finish off this last little fire beater. Oh, I found the stairs down to the next floor. You don't immediately go down the stairs, but if you get it, you can get your bonus right away. And because I want to show combining, I gotta get a double combiner. I'm gonna keep exploring. Let's see, yeah, crit damage taken reduced by 40%, that must be my gnome bonus. Okay, anyway, uh, spellcrafting. I got lots of spells, some light. If I put this dark rune up, it will be the corruption spell again, but it'll be 5% weaker. Um, light spells, magic missile, that's really cool. Two, oh, I, uh, don't know what any spells are on this new profile. So let's do earth and light. This uses a combiner. And combine. It made the light snare spell. I'll put that on my E key. You get a nice little description. And uh, uh, in future games, if I want to make an earth light spell, I no longer require a combiner. It's, it's permanently unlocked. And that's why it's good to spend your first several games of this just unlocking things. Because like I can't combine these because I don't have a combiner. But uh, Entropy Rune makes the Chaos Bolt. 
which is one of my favorite spells. So I'm just going to put that on. Now, I'm going to show the other feature. Um, let's see. Light. Okay, Light Snare has two runes, an Earth and a Light. And uh, cooldown is being affected by Light, and duration is being affected by Earth. So if I were to take this Light rune and put it on here, it would reduce the cooldown by half of a second. Same goes for the other spell. This dark rune would change the debuff duration from 5 to 6 seconds. You get a nice little preview. And uh, that's basically how uh, spell mixing works. You don't need to worry about the order. A uh, fire water will do the exact same thing as water fire. Um, so yeah, just going to clear the rest of this floor and test out the new spells. Not every spell in this game is very good. Many of them are outright terrible, but you know, situational. Uh, whatever floats your boats. But since I just like to splash fire into the rooms randomly, I like spells like uh, Chaos Bolt, Chain Lightning, Meteor, things like that. Also, when you're shooting, uh, some spells enact your global cooldown, which makes it uh, harder to... Because uh, uh, you can have four spells set at the same time, but if the global cooldown's off, you can't cast any spells. Like, yeah. This room has a floating brain. Zip, zip, zip. Oh. Uh. This setup is actually pretty good. Lightning is an extremely accurate beam spell, so it has a little bit of piercing and chaos ball, which rarely hits right down the line. Uh, can hit almost anything else. And all I have to do is let go of fire occasionally to put out rather spells, which are reliant on the global cooldown. It's uh, good to have your fastest high DPS spells on your two clickers, and more technical spells and buffs on your other two spell slots. Uh, these uh, skeletons with the glowy things, they're elites and they're stronger than your average skeleton, and you do have to kick over skeletons after you knock them down to knock them out forever. There are a number of enemies in this game that do have special on death mechanics like that. But most enemies are just the very simple, come at me bro kind of enemies. Well, I don't think there's too, too much left of uh, 401 here to go, but it's always good to clear everything out. This room here has a little bit of green smoke coming out of it, and it means it's a bonus room. Gnome power. Evade wild fireballs as long as you can. Every fireball you avoid gives you bonus XP, but winning gives you a special bonus. And it's always good to <laughs> I beat that room flawlessly. Yep. Uh, yeah. Most enemies, particularly the mages, are color-coded to the element they use. I don't think you can get resistance to specific spells natively, but there are abilities that do give you resistances to certain spells. Because there's no equipment in this game, it's all spells. And this guy's hard to hit. There we go. I gained a level, so I get to pick an ability. Let's see. Increase health pack healing. A random enemy takes damage that I take. That seems pretty good. XP. Bonus XP. Knocks back enemies that touch. I think bonus XP is probably the best one. Bullet duration increased 30% in this room. No random ability. Bullet duration is typically the length of the bullet. Sometimes it's for field effects, it's just how long it sits on the ground. Self explanatory, but for things like Chaos Bolt, it is how long it shoots. These short rooms are largely pointless, but you can get items from the boxes. Or, well, 
crates and stumps. And you need every bonus you can get. So it looks like I've completed this floor. It's time to go to the next floor. Where I will explain what it means to be a ranger. Which I didn't even... It didn't even come up. Anyway, the ranger's special ability is you charge up for five seconds and then you shoot a whole bunch of arrows. But this is very, very hard in he hectic combat. So one trick you can do is precast the ability. Let's see, three, two, one, enter a room, and then you get all your arrows right off the bat, which can really, really help to get some front end damage. And it's very, very, very safe. And the cooldown will typically be over by the time the room is over. So that's probably the best strategy to use with that particular class ability. There's a whole bunch of class abilities, including short-term invincibility, bullet reflection, summoning little zombos to poison enemies. Um, there's no gnome class, just the gnome race. With my random randoms. I don't know what this is. Um, the doors aren't open. Oh, shit. It's an elite crawler boot. He's dead. Ooh, entropy. Okay, this is a raging entropy room of the elephant. I'm already enjoying Chaos Ball, but this is a basic Chaos Ball. I'm going to make this brand new and replace the old one, which I don't need anymore. Put it in the garbage slot. So I got a slightly better Chaos Ball, and there's nothing I can do with the old spell. I can't refund it. And I do have, well, I'm going to save my runes. I do have a combiner, so let's go dark and dark. Dark dark is growing demise. Ding. Fires, dark energy, releases, explosion, more battle longer than what's in the air. That sounds probably better than crappy ass explode, uh, corruption, so let's get out of here. You drop your spell on the ground. I, you can pick them back up. I didn't think you can get, pick them back up. Looks like if you pick them back up, they're just going to your storage slot. So if you don't have a storage slot, you can't pick them up. Oh, I forgot to press. I forgot to recast my ability. That's okay. This doesn't look too, too hard. Ooh. Ow. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. If there's an item in the room and you, like, missed it, like it was just on the floor, it will show up on the minimap, so you don't need to worry about that. The game is very uh, user-friendly in that way. It's just, it's very, very, very luck-based to get the spells that you want. Oh, I'm dying. I'm dying. Come on. Speedy little beetle. Oh, and a leak back. Gotcha. Got a double combiner. I can make another spell. If you're about to die and you don't think you're gonna make it, it's always a good idea to burn your combiners just so that you can get new spells for the next time. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to make some water mind. Mind? Yes, water mind. Waterfall. Oh, that looks cool. Shoots a set of piercing water bolts. Uh, I think that'll be better than growing demise for now. Uh, you do get a storage slot, so I don't need to worry about throwing it away. Um, I don't have any more of those. I do have a lot of light runes, but there's nothing else I can do, so uh, carry on. Carry on away, work no. Oh no, yeah. Bonus room. Mm 
Let's see. Enemies linked in mysterious way. Kill all the enemies in order, as marked with the ancient seal. I don't know what that means. I have not seen this room type before. Doesn't look like the boxes have anything to do with this, so let's just get them out of the way, or they'll eat up all my hits. There's... You can pause the game. There's some speed mages, light mage, mind mage. I'm getting my crit decreased, and my global cooldown decreased. That's quite terrible. I'm gonna see if I can leave the room and come back for a different bonus. Um, it doesn't seem to look like it. Okay, I'll come back to that. Crit damage increased, slows movement. I think I can accept slower movement. So let's do this. I think I just have to kill the one that's lit up. But it doesn't look like I'm gonna live much longer. Victory! And I leveled up. If your life drops below, stun all enemies. On casting your ultimate, that'd be my class ability. Your known ultimate cooldowns decrease by 5 seconds. Me. Reduce the effects of Riamaras. On pickup, lower your cooldowns. None of these are any good. And because I won that event, I get to choose between any of these effects. Now, random... Random just picks from these four, but it used to give you a random one, which could include something that's not on this list. But since none of these are particularly good... Oh, I got a dark ring. Can I use that? Nope. Minor? Nope. Okay, so I'm almost dead. Just gonna give it give it a good shot. I really should have precast the ultimate. And... Well, that's good enough for part one here.